this is awesome. How's, how, how's the mic? Everyone hear me good? All right. So my name is Ryan Angeli, at Angeli on Twitter. And tonight I'm talking about why getting your heart smashed into a million pieces is actually totally awesome. So I, uh, I showed uh, some of my friends this, this, uh, this presentation idea. And some of my ex-girlfriends are friends, and they were horrified when I told them the topic because they assumed this was going to turn into a night of me just ripping on them and how much they suck and why I'm better off without them. But that's not the case. Uh, what I want to talk tonight about is uh, not, not what I've learned through relationships and through breakups, but the fact that I've learned, right? So uh, I'm not standing up here. I'm not standing up here being jaded, saying that you should get your heart broken. It's awesome because relationships suck. Uh, what I'm saying is that love is fun. It's awesome, right? You have these casual relationships. You have these intimate relationships. You walk up to strangers in bars and you say, hey, I'm single. want to go out on a date. And I love it. It's, it's a blast. But as much as this may shock you guys, I have actually been dumped before by women. And, and even though you all are looking so fine tonight, uh, I know that one or two of you have probably also been dumped by women. Um, and this, this binds us, right? This, this gives us something in common. And what it gives us in common is the next slide. We are failures, right? We tried to, we tried to, we tried to create a relationship and we failed. Like, we couldn't do it. Like, yeah, the other, the other person might have sucked. Whatever. You failed, okay? You couldn't do it. But what I want to do is I want you to think of it, instead of being failure, think of it as being an exerciser, right? With an E, not an O. We're talking about working out, not, not getting rid of evil spirits, right? Because um, you're working your relationship muscle, not a dirty metaphor. Um, but, you know, when you want to get stronger or faster, what do you do? You go, you work out, and the next day you're sore because you actually tear muscle tissue, and it grows back a little stronger. So when you get your heart ripped out of your chest and you're crying for, for days and weeks, th that's making you stronger. I mean, cry crying is okay here. And that, that's what I want to get across is that you can learn from these experiences. And you might not know right away what you're learning, but you are. Trust me. Now, on the flip, on the flip side of things, I have to admit that in my life, I've actually dumped plenty of women, and, and given that you guys are so good looking, I'm sure you all have too. Um, and this again binds us in another way, and that we have all at one point or another been selfish jerks. Because we've said, you know what, you're not, you're not cutting it anymore. But that's okay, right? <laughs> Somewhere along the way, being, being selfish got a bad rap. And you say, oh, you know what, like, you're, so, you're kind of nice, the sex is okay, I really shouldn't dump you, but that doesn't cut it sometimes. You know, you, you really have to be honest to yourself. And the thing that, that stinks about this is that we're, we're wired to make it difficult, right? We have loss aversion. It's, it's a psychology thing I don't quite understand, but basically what it means is that if we have a loss that has this quantifiable value of X, in order to offset that loss, we need a, we need a, we need a, a gain twice as big, because then this happens, right? Because you might dump someone, and he might say, oh, I dump you, but then regret it immediately, and you check their Facebook profile every four hours, and you're miserable because you love this person, but you hate them for what they're doing to you, and you just can't get, you can't get through it, and it's, it's you, you say to yourself, you know what, screw this, love just sucks, I'm done, it stinks, and you know, that, that's, it's, the slides are a little, I'm going a little fast, I'm sorry. I'll just let you take this for a few seconds. The fact of the matter is that um, love doesn't stink. It's awesome. And, and running away and closing up and, and saying to yourself, I'm never doing that again, isn't the right thing to do. You're, you're missing the point, right? So what's my point? My point is that getting your heart ripped out of your chest in an intimate relationship, that, th the muscles you use there are the same muscles you use in everyday relationships. The muscles you use when you're at work, with your family, with your friends. All right, I moved here in August from Massachusetts. So I just up, I moved here, and I didn't know anybody, right? And already, four months in, I've met all these great friends. And there's no way that I ever would have... Oh, that got all messed up. There's no way that I ever would have gotten to this, into this position um, unless I had been forced at certain times in my life to sit down and think to myself, Ryan Angeli, who the fuck do you think you are? And that's what these breaks have made me, force, made me, made me think about. Um, it, you know, the relationship that I have with you guys right now, I'm yelling, you're laughing, you're, you're jeering at me, and it's awesome. And if I hadn't had my heart ripped out of my chest, I wouldn't have came here and found out this is where I'm supposed to be. So, thank you very much. <laughs>